year before. Aye, here we go, mate. <laughs> Thank you, mate. I know I've fucking badgered you since about July 2019. I know, mate. I know, I know. <laughs> I know a lot's happened since then, mate, honestly. <laughs> uh, no, mate, apologies about it. I'm, <sighs> mate, I'm a type of guy that sits, wake up at four in the morning, go off and not get back to that guy, man. I feel bad that it's took this long. But, mate, we're here now, man. Yeah, Let's enjoy it. Have, I mean. Exactly. Right. East End boy. Mm hmm. Not really the acting route for most boys for East End, I'd say, based on my own experience as well. Aye. You might be a football player or a football manager Aye. or something to do with football. Aye, definitely, mate. How did you get into it? Oh, mate, it was, it was a weird one. It was quite unorthodox. It was, I went to school in Ridley, Smithy mm -hmm. Croft Secondary. Uh, there was a, a film get made, Lynn Ramsey was making a movie called Ratcatcher. So she was kind of like Ken, o Ken Loach in the sense where she didn't really go for actors per se she was always making kind of boys off the street and stuff so she was going to all the schools in east end i think no just east end everywhere so right. she came out of her school and she wanted to do like a screen test for the part of james which was the main part mm -hmm. so me and the boys were like fuck it i right. we didn't man we'll go down to the canteen and do a screen test man <laughs> i so it got us out of like maths or fucking english or something <laughs> like that we'll go down there uh thought nothing it man just went right. down and done it giggling like we daft boys day man Aye. sitting there what's it you saying that saying this <laughs> so we done it back up to our class and then a couple of days later whatever get a call back to get seen again mm -hmm. uh, it is in the place that's new film city over in govan right so we went there there my granddad took us there everything went well man get another call back at that point i didn't really like didn't really realize what was happening Aye. and then got offered the main part Totally buzzing, told all my pals, I'm going to do this film, I'm right. going to be in a movie, playing the part of James, <laughs> Ratcatcher, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I love him for man, boom, it all fell apart. I was like, my man and dad got a phone call saying, I don't know if it was a producer or Lynn Ramsey at the time, I'm right. not sure, had a change of heart and the part had went to a boy called William Meadie, right. uh, who I keep in touch with right. now and again to this day, but God, man, it was a gutter. It was a bit of Davina McCall's, mate. Honestly, man, it was, <laughs> it was a sore one. You're having to go back and tell all your pals, not Aye, that, I felt all right, Dafty, because I think after that, the part I got was boy on bike. <laughs> and I had one line, but looking back, I mean, to be fair, the producer came out to the house and spoke to my man and dad. I don't, I don't really remember Aye. what we said or anything, man. I was very young at the time. You're just fuming. Aye, I was just <laughs> raging, man. But it was like, looking back, it was... It was probably the point where I go, right, that's when I got the bug to do it, mm -hmm. to get into acting, because they offered us a part as boy on bike, as I mm -hmm. said, you blink, you miss me when you watch a movie, right. but they kept me on every day, so I was William Standin, basically. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're getting the main part, to somebody else getting the main part, and then you're getting told you're going right. to stand in, be the lucky for him, right. and just jump on set when he's got his makeup and costume <laughs> changed. Sounds daft, but it was amazing. It was right. one of the best experiences, man. It was brilliant. Because I think just finding out how cameras, how shots work, and how you need to hit a mark, and you need to just everything technical side that I picked mm -hmm. up was, I think subconsciously it was quite invaluable at right. the time, you know what I mean? But right. It was a weird route into acting, but it was kind of heat first, you know what I mean? Like, right. Going, right, I'm on a film set the next six weeks, I don't need to go to school, I'm doing right. this and I'm picking up all this and working with like Tommy Flanagan, right. Mandy Matthews. Not as if I was working with him, I didn't really have any scenes with him, but just seeing how they work. Like right, close action, I think, of getting to exactly. watch them. Exactly, and watching Tommy Flanagan at the time, there was, God, man, there was this, <laughs> there was this time where he was playing the part of Da, Mandy Matthews was playing the part of Ma, right? right? Da and Ma, and then there was James, uh, and he was today this scene where he was to be pissed because he's like an abusive husband, right? and he was to be pissed in it. I remember seeing him during the day, and he just rattled a half bottle of vodka or a quarter <laughs> bottle, man. And I was like, what is he doing, man? And he was, he was like so method, but he was like writing about it. And then seeing him like three years later doing this scene, I was like, oh my God. But you still remember these lines, you still done everything. But you're gone, the guy was just like, I remember at the time watched him and then obviously years to come, you're watching Sons of Anarchy and, and it's like, the guy was, he was brilliant. But again, great experience and seeing how things work. It was dipping my toe in the water. Aye. And then Ken Loach crops up again aye, man, was that, was, 16. Aye, that was another <sighs> that was a sore one that was that was worse man that was because you're a wee bit older aye wee bit older <laughs> a bit more aware because obviously after rat catcher i'd kind of 
joined a theatre group. I don't really know what day I kind of joined a theatre group through Rat Catch. I met a guy called Stephen King. Joined a theatre group called Toonspeak Young People's Theatre. That was based in Springburn, Royston Way. And Ian Roberts and Ian Connell, Rab Florence, Hunters, he's went to that. Mm-hmm. So really got right in about it. And then came out of that, getting the chance to go on audition. First week 16, I remember thinking, right, young, fearless, I'm getting into this, I'm going to do it, man, look at it. And... Same kind of thing happened. It was kind of callback after callback. <sighs> getting the butterflies in your stomach going, right, man, get back to the next callback. You see, there's not as many bones there. There's only aye. maybe four or five years left. And then I remember looking back on it, seeing Martin every time I went back. Martin was there. I remember thinking, right, he's the one I'm going to have to. Because right. I think it's between me and right. him. And we got down to the final audition. And it was just me and him in a room with Ken Loach. And we started, they started recording it. And Ken Lotus just turned around and just looked out the window. Nothing worse. And then we finished it. He didn't really say much. We went, right, thank you. And we were like, oh, fuck, man, I remember coming out. But then just sitting, wait, you know, a phone call's coming, it's going to be I or not. Aye. But aye. unfortunately for me, <clears throat> I mean, it was still an I. I still aye. got a part in it, aye. but I didn't get the part I wanted. And <sighs> it was, like, I remember at the time, I was gutted, man. I was like, totally gutted. But Still going on set with Ken Loach, Dana, it was a very good scene, it Aye. took a full day's shoot, heat button, getting, getting the heat stuck on me half Martin and all that and stuff like that, but again, at that point, coming away from that, it's going, right, this business is Aye. hard, man, we did A now, do you know what I mean, it was kind of, I don't know, but it was a great experience, I Aye. picked up so much working with him too, you know what I mean? And does your... See, in that situation, like, and you're, you're busting your ass trying to get a part and the director's looking out the window, does your head not just go like, Aye, mate, I was fuck. totally thrown, man, I was thrown at... <laughs> I remember talking to Martin about it not long ago, like one of the, it was like our Heroes Awards or STV's Real Hero, Aye. whatever it was, man, at the Cambridge Street at the Hilton, mm-hmm. uh, Double Tree in Cambridge Street. And I remember saying to him, I was like, mate, what was that all about? <laughs> he's like, I know, mate. He's like, I think I held, I held my own better than you that day. But right. he's like, you shat it a wee bit. And I remember thinking, I did, man, I did. It was just, it was weird. But I, it was just, I think all these things are sent to the test, you know aye, what I mean? Aye. The bottom line is, I didn't get it. I kind of failed the test aye. a wee bit that way. But still, Martin's career went, I mean, I can't sit here and complain, man. My career, I stuffed been very very fortunate mm-hmm. very lucky to consistently Aye. work as long as i have but martin's obviously went f- boom not I mean? but it was I, it was a great experience man even being on set it was looking back people i met and that's brilliant Aye. at that age as well i did find your cv not many people can say about the lynn ramsey and ken loach not Aye. I mean? A wee bit Lynn Ramsey boy on bike, not me. My only line was your dad's ah, it's on the cv mate. 100%, I man. <laughs> so you, you've had day two I suppose then, in your mind, you've got a kind of decision to make as to what you do next. Aye, aye. It's, I kind of look back and go, right, me and my mate stayed on school right till six year. Mm-hmm. Everybody had left to get a trade and all that. I remember at that point, coming through Street 16, even though, I, even though I'd had a wee part in it, I remember coming away going, Daddy, I really keep doing this, man. Because like, back then, when people say naughty, you're like, what? Aye. What are you saying naughty for? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? But it's like, come on, man, what? But I remember going, uh, talking to like, Monkles and all that, like it's not really secure work Aye. as such. But there was always that wee thing in me going, oh, "Why do it, man?" But I remember I said I, at that point I thought, "I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to pursue it, man. I'm going to go to college." And I, I applied to go to, I applied to go to the academy first and get right. back to the academy as well. Right. I did RSMD in the tun and I applied for Langside and I get in. I done the monologue and my audition for Langside that I done in the play Cripple Vanish Man uh, that I sh- done me to speak mm-hmm. in college man I just <sighs> looking back I wish I didn't do it maybe because I absolutely hated it man. Right. I just hated it I didn't right. it at all it just wasn't just right me. for the off I I fucked it right for the off man because <laughs> I, I went I went to Mali with my mates on a, on a boys holiday I get my dates mixed up and I remember I could have sworn man I, the date said a certain date and it did me I right. got my dates mixed up I'm saying that now, I'm a bit of young me, just went, fuck it, just going all the the boys, right? But I'm sure I get my dates mixed up. And I remember coming back to Malia, pure typical Scottish boy, pure fucking sunburn and all that, man. <laughs> Walking into college, going, shit, man, I was meant to be here two weeks ago. Walked in, and mate, they're all doing woodwork. They're building sets, right? I'm useless at stuff like that, right? I'm useless at DIY and all that. I'm horrendous. My brother in law does everything in my house for me, right? I'm terrible. But I was like, what are they doing, man? And 
It wasn't even as much of that. It was like the way they all spoke. Aye. And obviously, I'm the odd one out. I'm two weeks late. Mm-hmm. I don't care about end. They say you turn up to some two weeks late. Everybody knows <clears throat> everybody. Aye. Especially when you're young, you're a bit more insecure about life. Aye. You're going, ah, oh, fuck, man. You feel like the loop, didn't you? Aye. There was only maybe two people I became quite pally with at college and they were brand new. Everybody else, I'm not saying they weren't the brand new. Ah, they just didn't, I didn't really take to them, man. Aye. They didn't take to me. It was a bit more. I did feel like the odd one out the way Aye. I spoke, man. It's as if Aye. Oh, I'm going a bit postcode if they go, man. Do you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> so I did once, but I did pick up a few bits and bobs at college, and it was like the guy, the main boy there, he had his favourites and stuff, mm. and I was new one of them, but Aye. I don't really regret it, but I just look back and go, just wasn't it? So and I, I suppose went, it kind of it shows people as well that there isn't really a designated route. That no, you could go because no, no, everybody's suited to doing that. That some no. people might just go straight into it. Aye, exactly. Mate. And I seen up here in Scotland, especially in Scotland, in this this business in Scotland, it's a lot. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Aye. Do you know what I mean? That's Aye. no fair, but it's just the way it is, man. Mm-hmm. That's the way it is. But at college, I remember my uncle working, he was a manager in cruise. I spent more time in my uncle's shop working Aye. than I did. At Aye, college, there. I used to say to my mother, he asked me about college, I'll be there all day every day, jumping off the bus at Ingham Street, jumping into cruise, working mm-hmm. there, loved it, man, Aye. loved it, loved the glamour of it, man, Aye. the woman that would come into the show, Aye. the clays you had, all, all that, all Aye, all that. that. Well, exactly that, Aye. mate, I bet, uh, going to college noon again, but being in the right place at the right time, a lot of things, that all boils down to that as well, because I think, when I was at, it was, doing the play for Toon Speak, there was a casting director, who seen me mm-hmm. and that hang so if I didn't go to college I'd have still got the phone call that for River City. Aye. Do you know what I mean? So it works out that way. And how did the whole River City thing come about then? That was just me, it was it was so random, man. It was I'd done that play in Ireland, the Crip over in Ishmael Toon Speak. And a casting director worked in Scotland at times that don't she works in Scotland anyway. Victoria Beatty, Vicky Beatty, she phoned me saying she'd seen it. Uh, can you come in for uh addition for the Scottish soap. I think it wasn't called River at the time. Pure top secret, <laughs> the Scottish soap. Uh, I was like, I need bother shell soup. Well, I thought somebody was taking the piss at me, but I was like, right, I'll come in. So I remember Ganetti, my granddad took his air, went to Queen Margaret Drive, the old BBC at Queen Margaret mm-hmm. Drive. And I goes in, man, I was like, it's like everybody in their granny there, Aye. man. There's so many people for this part and other parts like Deke and Brian, William Randon and stuff and Turned up Martin Compton was there as well and I was like, oh get the fuck man. But he didn't <laughs> mate, he didn't hang about man. He wasn't he wasn't for River City. He I think his agent had big plans for him, man. So he was <laughs> didn't see him again. Did man. you feel pressure at that point? But because you were like, I've got I, this is going to happen now. Aye, is... definitely, man. I remember like oh, usual my uncle would give me a banter about it, he still trying to be an actor and all that kind of stuff, and you're like, aye, but need to really talk me out of it, but there's aye. always that we see the doubt the older you get. The bottom line is, mate, you want to make money. Aye. You want to live, man. You want to be able to go with your pals at the mm-hmm. weekend. You want to be able to do things. So, I there was a certain element of pressure, but again, looking back at my 19 year old self, I'm nearly 40 now. Looking back, I'm going, I was a bit more fearless as well. I'm now. I, think, I mean, I was like, I'm fucking going in right now. Get this, man. I remember getting into the audition and just kind of, to be fair, the part was kind of, for the way I am, it was perfect. Aye. Like, see, the dialogue I had and mm-hmm. shell suit bulb the wee fucking Dallas. I was like, this is if I don't get this, I'm <laughs> talking. You know what I mean? So but again the same thing happened, man. It was like a long process and you're sitting in bed at night going, I wonder if I'm gonna get this, I wonder Aye. if I'm gonna get it. Call back, call back, call back. A day goes by, the phone doesn't go, fuck you don't want me. Aye. But you're just paranoid, you're going, Aye. you don't want me, but then we're all paranoid actors, man. We're all Aye. insecure and that, you know what I mean? So then when the call comes that I you've got it, man, I was like, I was buzzing, man. I remember Got offered a three month contract. Me, Carrie Corbett, Gordon McCorkle, William Ruan, Shabana, there was hundreds of youngins in it. We all went, we had an agent at the time called Mariam Hunwick. We all went there. I've said to everybody in crews, I'm off trips, catch you later. <laughs> Seeing it was a three month contract, four months went, go hold that's open, but in case they asked for it, do you know what I mean? So it was, it was what it was. But I, three months, mate, and that was, well, I was 19, came up for 20 years now. So been there since day one, man, 20 years ago. Well, it'll be 20 year this August, it'll be 25th anniversary. Did you, well, did you ever see yourself being there that long and did you ever see 
River City getting as big as it is because it's obviously fucking massive now. Right. There was looking back, there was times where it was trial and error, mate. It was, right. it was such a big machine, man. It was mm-hmm. such so many departments, massive studio outside, like the exterior stuff, like the closest the interior of the studio was built so much and there was I remember me and my mom and my dad and we all sat around and watched the first episode mm-hmm. and my dad West of Scotland man that's a lot of shites <laughs> <laughs> and I remember going aye it is but in my head I'm going no it gets better but it gets better he's like son that's a lot of shites it took a bit of abuse at the start oh, didn't mate, it? it it was slammed aye mate I remember during lockdown there in 2020 the the done the replay at like 10 episodes and they put the very first episode Aye. on man I was like what the fuck <laughs> do you think but at that time obviously when, when you talk to MD right in Scotland you talk about a soap they just immediately be like fucking Corey East End do you Aye. think because they're measuring that against that Aye, right it's... away you're like fucking hell man Aye, mate, it's, it was always going to be compared to like your East Enders and Corey's and all that and I remember it's that man it was, I was uh, something that big at that time and I remember it was all kind of at the time, everybody was panicking. You'd walk in it, be everybody for every department. Aye, but it was, aye. but it was shooting for me, mate. Aye. I was nobody cared about me. I aye. was, I had no family on the show. Mm-hmm. I was what they call a sat like. I came in and out now and again. Mm-hmm. There was no pressure on me, aye. so the public kind of took to me a wee bit because. Aye. Anytime I turned up on it, I'm swaggering about with soap, my soaps top and my trackies. Aye. People can relate to it. Do you know 100%. what I mean? Everybody knew a shell suit bob then. Everybody, so I was, I was like the comedy relief. To be fa- to be fair, I was walking in there a couple of wee lines and fuck off again. Aye. So I Aye. was fine. I was I was keeping my mouth shut, my ears mm-hmm. open. But then you start to bring in your ma. Mm-hmm. They go right. We're going to audition someday to play your mum. Mm-hmm. They're going to get a girlfriend. They're going to bring you this in. You become a wee bit older, mm-hmm. you're starting to enjoy it. But then you start worrying, going, oh, I need to keep this job, man. Aye. And that's always been there. Aye. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of, you want to stay there, you want to keep doing it. But in the in the beginning, it was so easy because so much of the the focus was on your Eric Barlow's, your Paul Sampson's, your mm-hmm. Peter Davies's, Aye. all them. There was not really much focus on them. Aye. So I kind of had it easy in the beginning. Aye. And how were all the older ones with you? Because they've... They've been round the block acting wise, they've done brilliant. various Aye, things and for mate. you coming in. It's... Brilliant. I remember, I don't know if you know the actor, John Murta, he doesn't do much now, he's been in Braveheart and all that, he's done everything, mm-hmm. right? He was, <laughs> I remember in the back of a taxi, then I seen with him, we were sitting in the back of a taxi, I can't remember what the scene was, it was me being cheeky to him and he kept forgetting his lines. Right. And I kept reminding him what his lines were. Right. And mate, I've always been fucking razor sharp with my lines, right? right? I never forget my lines, right? Well, don't never, but right. sometimes, but I've always found it easy to learn lines. And I remember he just took me to say, oh, cheeky wee bastard. <laughs> but the stuff he he said to me later, years to come, he's like, at that point, <clears> I, re- I realised, like, I'm getting too old for this game. It's a young man's game. Right. We're rocking through. But they were all, mate, every one of them, like, like I say, any young actor coming out of River City, you learn so much because right. it moves so fast, mate. Mm-hmm. There's a team working outside, there's a team working inside. Mm-hmm. You've got a call sheet, especially before lockdown, where it was like two cameras, we're right. only a single camera at the moment. But it was like, it's it's just been so good to me, mate. It's been right. such a, I still learn things when I'm there. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, right. you still learn how to do things. You still, you can never rest on your laurels. You still mm-hmm. need to, but in the days, mate, I just, I just had a laugh, man. But right. came, I didn't need, questioning I didn't Aye. really get involved in it I just wanted to soak up so much and mm-hmm. learn so much because like I say mate boy for these standard guys I'm going this is fucking brilliant I said, aye aye it was but and it was it still is a absolute fantastic job man. aye and was there a for that initial three months was there a point for you where it started to kind of in your mind be like this, this could be long term for me this could be a, a big thing here I I remember I, rem- I, mean, I remember the first time MD recognised me, right? It was fucking hilarious. I was in Sucky Hall Street with my missus. Right. She was up doing a theory test at the place in Sucky Hall Street. She used to go up there. Right. And I was standing outside having a fag. And this boy walked by and he's like, oh, is that wee, wee bob cunt after there? <laughs> I'm like, all right, mate, how are you doing? And I remember, I said, it's mental, man. But then I remember that day, the very next day I went into work, and that's when they say to us, we're going to get something to play your mum. Right. And I remember thinking, right. This is when, this is when I wrote Sally Howitt in the place, Scarlet. 
I remember going, right, man, this is, this, I'm going to be like party. Aye. There was the Hendersons, there was the Donaghy's, the Hendersons, there was all the family in it. But I was just this wee guy, I didn't have Aye. a surname. Aye. I was just shell suit Bob. Mm -hmm. And then I became Bob Adams. And I was like, I've got a surname, man. <laughs> 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 That's when I thought, right, this is, but there was always, and there still is to this day, there's always like, you fill them in blocks. Mm -hmm. So you fill them like February till May, mm -hmm. August to November. That Aye. used to be the way you would done it. And come May time, I'd always remember all the older, the more seasoned actors, mm -hmm. they'd always have that twitchy thing. Oh man, you had your agent, yeah, from being kept on. Because there's always people that leave. It's like, it's like a transfer one day. In fact, well, there's always somebody that goes. There's always, so there's that element to it. And I'm part of that now as well. Mm -hmm. I think that sometimes, Aye. I mean, but you can't let that eat you up. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? You just day with your day. If you turned around and went, I mean, the yeah, so it's finished. I'd be absolutely gutted. Aye. I feel like I could have bought me. If I'm 19 years, that means I'm back. Right, fair enough. Do you ever, does that get any easier? But let's see that, that worry no. about getting kept on or no. what you're going to no. do. Do you no. just kind of love it? It, it? Mate, it's always, I think the older you get, I mean, I've got a mortgage, I've got Aye. two wains, I've got Aye. a wife. So the worry comes for that. Aye. You go, right, I need to keep my job, but it's the life we're in now, mate. It's, it's what you do, you know what I mean? So you need to just, you can't worry about it too much because if you worry Aye. about it too much, you're going to send you're going to be shite. Aye. You know I mean, you're not because the nerves are going to get the better, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And a thing that I was curious about, and it was just when I was looking at the kind of 19, 20 years you've, you've been there, mm -hmm. see, for you at times, it's it's like probably you're leading a double life because you've got your Aye. family at home. Aye. But then Aye. to everybody else that watches you, Aye. that's your family. Aye, of course, there. mate, of course. Aye, it's, I, it's, you do, you kind of, Especially like with Sally, for example, she's mm -hmm. played my ma in River City for 18 years. She was in the, in the beginning, so she was there. She was there 18 years. So I, I look at her as my ma. Aye. And she's Aye. not my ma. Do you know what Aye. I mean? It's, it's Aye. mental. Aye, there is that, mate. There's been that. And it's like, no, the older I get now, it is more just, it's my job. Aye. But when you're younger, there's times where you can go, this is like, you think you're shell suit Aye. Boom, I mean, you're, you're going night suit and all that. People are recognising you pure. When I was young, mate, ugh, in my early twenties, man, I'm earning money at River City. I've not got a mortgage around. I'm staying my mom and dad. I'm going to about Glasgow. People recognising you. Aye. You can let that go. He'd my Aye. pals. I've had the same pals. New to this day that I had in bloody primary four, mm -hmm. primary five at school. Aye. We've been pals all life, and they don't let you forget that shit. When you're Aye, out, rain I mean, and there's been times where you can let it go. You all that, mate. Do you know what I mean? But it does. But as I say, the older I get, you go. It's my job, and that's it. You know Aye. I mean? How do you find the whole? interaction with people outside because as much as it's Glasgow it could be good and it could be fucking aye, horrendous aye, <laughs> at mate, the same that's, time that that's the beauty of Glasgow but aye. I mean don't get me wrong there's been a couple of times the other years where you've had a few close encounters with very dodgy characters what I mean who take it a bit too far and like start with you and all that shit I can't be bored with that but the size of me I'm not going to start with <laughs> anything I mean. but it's like it's like I'll mate, I like it, man. You see, I've, I'm not going to name any actors. There's been people I've seen come and go mm -hmm. early years in River City. They think they're in the fucking Sopranos. Aye. Do you know what I mean? You walk Aye. about and they think they're Hollywood, man. Aye. You go, no, that is, that's not going to happen. It's not for me to say to them. Aye. But I'll say they'll soon find out. You know what I mean? But people stop me. They want to talk to me. They want an autograph. They want a photo. It's all good banter, mate. It's mm -hmm. fine. And see, see the days that stops. I'm not doing my job right. Aye. Do you know what I mean? That's Aye. but it's mate, it is what it is. You, you treat people the way you act with treated you. Mm -hmm. Glasgow, if you act like a if you act like a tool, you're gonna get treated like a tool, you know what I mean? So Aye. happy days. Mm -hmm. So schedule wise, obviously you're split into two blocks. How intense is it when you're you're actually in the, the months <laughs> filming? It can mate, if you're if you've got a busy storyline, you can be there seven in the morning to seven at night. Aye. You're there all day. Eh, it can become pretty intense. There's, there's times the other years I've had storylines where my character's had heavy depression because his best mate's died and you're there all day, you're greeting, you're depressed. You're, when you go home, it's hard to switch off, but you, you need to switch off because especially nowadays, I go home, I've got two veins, I've got a life. You need Aye. To, so it's, it can be pretty difficult. What people don't forget sometimes, you're, you're there 77, but when I go home at night, if I'm in there 77 the next day, I need to sit and learn lines till at 10 or 11 or overnight Aye. and then get up at 6 and go back in. So you can, it can become pretty monotonous and mm -hmm. pretty hard going, but 
mate, I love it. Like my dad's out fitting gas central heating. Aye. He's under floorboards and all that shit Aye. during the day. So Aye. I'm I've won a watch, you know what I mean? Hundred percent. And a few people had asked with the learning lines and all that, how easy do you find it? Do you have a process for it? Is it just one of the things that kind of clicks? Mate, I've I'm so lucky, mate. I've always been very, very good at learning lines. Shite at acting, but good at learning lines. <laughs> right, but it's kind of so good at learning lines, mate. I found it so easy, but and I, I just what, what I do. I used to in the past, me and my wife, she'd be like, I'll sit and read it with you, no. but she will then read it like that to me, or then she will try and aye, act and all that, aye. and I'm like, right, just stop it now. <laughs> this isn't, we're not getting anywhere. <laughs> I like to just go up the stair into a spare room or something, shut the door once the wings are in bed, sit with a coffee or a tea, mm -hmm. and I'll just sit and read and read and aye. read and read and read, and then I'll just learn. What I always find the good part is learning the other person's lines in the scenes right because that's your cue to then and aye. if you know your lines it'll just become naturally when mm -hmm. it's coming in for their do you know what i mean so just reading it there and there and there again mate aye. that's kind of there's no secret there's no magic way of doing it aye. that's just the way i do it and i'll just cover the page up and aye, just try go. and learn and then i'll put the script down i'll go to bed and when i'm falling asleep i'll just run it off through a mind for half an hour then fall asleep and go up aye. and do the same in the shower in the morning aye. the morning's always the best time to run it through your head. I find in the morning you're always more fresh and mm -hmm. your, your brain, for my, my brain, is more aye. active in the morning anyway. Have you ever had times you've been in and it's just... Okay, oh, aye. Aye, there's times... Mate, there's times I've been on set and... Sometimes, like, say, for example, you're in, like, seven scenes in a row, right? Mm -hmm. I'll look at it and go, right, we'll get the two scenes done. And then there'll be a tea break, and then I'll get that scene done, and then it'll be lunch, and I'll learn that one. Mm -hmm. But some days you go and you go, fuck, we're moving really fast here, man. Aye. And then we get to the scene and you go, I was going to learn this at lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, hey, shit, man. <laughs> so me and Scott, my, my mate Scott, who plays Angus, me Aye. and him will just sit and we'll run it and run it. But it was, I think there was a day where I just, I couldn't get it in my head, mate. And again, it was a kind of, it was the language barrier where, I can't remember what it was. It was this posh word I had to say. Mm -hmm. And it just wasn't a scanning with me. I can't remember what it was. It was a flower. Right. So it was some sort of flower. And everybody was pissing themselves off at me because I couldn't say it, man. I can't remember the name of it. I still can't remember it to this day. And it was, oh, it was horrendous, man. And I, you can you can feel your face getting redder and redder. And you're like, oh, my God, man. And the crew found it funny like half an hour ago. But they're going to wag up the road. The guy's stomping the boom. Not going, my fucking hurry up, mate. Aye, you're feeling the pressure. Aye, but, aye. There's tight that. Mate, that happens and when you cops, man, when the two of you just cast a little laugh and a threes, whatever, man, it's, it's brilliant, man, it's it's some buzz. <laughs> Somebody actually asked that for, can you remember a time where you just couldn't stop laughing? Aye, it was just mate. fucking full on. Oh, mate, go on YouTube, man, look at some of the things, we, like, mate, there's, there's a scene we done, right, it was like, we rap at seven o'clock, right, and me and Scott Fletcher were doing this scene in the talk shop, and it was just me and him, and it's him. The scene starts with him, right? The camera's on a track, right? Mm -hmm. And the scene starts with him saying, right, he's leaving. Right. He didn't really leave, but Aye. he's saying he's leaving. He's got to do this and that. And Yankee's talking to his missus, right? right. The way he's saying, I mean, I'm going to miss you and all that. But then the camera reveals he's talking to me, right? Right. But, mate, there was daft, the daftest things will set you off. There was, there was the fake ice cubes, right? Wee bits of plastic Aye. and the cup that's the ice cubes. Right. And I'm picking the cup up and it's making this noise. <laughs> And that set is off, right? right? But mate, honestly, I urge you to watch us, right? I'll find it for you and I'll send you, right? Mate, we could not stop laughing. <laughs> He's saying, oh, I'm going to go now, Mark. Well, you need to go, you need to go. And I'm starting to laugh. <laughs> and the ice cubes are going like, for some reason, before that was hilarious. But mate, honestly, go to like take 15. And it was like fucking 10 to 7 and everybody's <laughs> wag up the road. And people thought it was funny to begin with. Aye. But then the mayor... The first day, he's gone like, right, everybody, settle down, settle down. <laughs> That's making us worse. We're like, right, we're good, we're, we're fine, we're ready to go. Action, fucking away again, man. It's like, it's the best, it's like, remember at school when a teacher told you, right, you need to be quiet now, shut aye, up. You're, you're bubbling aye, you're underneath. Bu aye. So it's like that, it's the, it's the best and worst feeling aye. in the world because you know when it comes to a point, your line's coming up and you can't say it for laughing. You don't bit. want to break first. Oh, it's so funny, mate, honestly. It's probably, <laughs> it's probably the best feeling, man. Oh, man. Um, obviously a massive amount of big names have come through River City in mm -hmm. the last kind of 10, 15, 20 years mm. any bits of advice that you've had that have stuck out for you? Uh, I think I'm trying to th I'm trying to think back at pieces of advice 
mate, like I've always said, man, keep your mouth shut and your ears open. That's what John Mark I told us that years ago. Uh, I remember Alex Ferns came in no long ago. God, he was in East End, wasn't he? Aye, he's, his career's went, he's went boom, man. Aye. He's in the new Batman movie, he was in Chernobyl, and I shared a dressing room with him. And it wasn't so much advice he gave me, it was more just his laid back kind of approach to things. Where the guy's done a lot, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. he, he was a household name, Trevor, man. Aye. People hated him, he'd been through a lot. Aye. Uh, but just looking at him going, the way he carried himself and the way he was, he, was, he wasn't he was he wasn't too intense. Mm -hmm. He wasn't he too, he was just, he was always just on the level, man. Mm -hmm. where, and we shared the dressing room because we don't share the dressing rooms anymore because of fucking COVID, Aye. right? But at that point, I had a room with myself and sometimes they'd put people in ways mm -hmm. that were just coming in. Aye. And they'd put them in with me quite a lot. And Aye. Alex came in, I remember he came in, I was like, holy fuck, man. He's a berry a guy, Aye. man. He's such a laugh, but... I just, I think, I, I had quite a lot of scenes with him at the time as well, and I, I, I learned a lot of him, I think, Aye. as well, at that point, even though I'd been in River City for like 15 years at mm -hmm. that point, but nothing really specific, just, I remember just watching him a lot on set, the way he carried himself, the way he spoke to the director, the way he took a note, the way he changed it, the way he wasn't scared to try different things, mm -hmm. sometimes you can be so rigid and set in a fucking Aye. kind of autopilot mode, where I'll just go on and get this scene done that mm -hmm. way, but he'd be quite playful with different mm -hmm. things and try things, give the director a few different options mm -hmm. and that. So, I maybe, I always look back and go, he's the one person that I remember coming in going, wow, man, this guy's, Aye. this guy's, well, him and Frank plays Lenny. When, when Frank first came in, I was like, this guy is, and I still, to this day, I, fuck, I know Frank so well, we've been, we've been pals for years, but I still get, a wee bit jittery when I'm doing a scene because I go, this guy's fucking brilliant, man. <laughs> he's like the fucking Scottish De Niro to meet things, you know what I mean? Like, he's dynamite. But uh, you get guys where you go, I don't know, man, there's certain guys that have got this aura where you just go, like, you're in the company of somebody that's really fucking in control, man, you know what I mean? He, Alex is one of them and Frank. Do you still get the kind of pinch yourself moments even this far in to, to River City? Or are you kind of... Just no, level mate, weight now. I, mate, I didn't even, even talk to you about how long I've been there. Like, I still can't believe it, mate. I still can't believe it. Like, I still think of myself as a wee guy. I still think of myself mm -hmm. as a wee 19 year old guy, you know, Aye. at times. And I, people look at me now as like a senior fucking cast member. I've been there that mm -hmm. long and went for number 28 in the call sheet. Now I'm number one in the call sheet, mate. I'm the only guy left for the Aye. original cast. I mean, but I still don't think of myself like that. I still think of myself as a wee guy, still learning on the Aye. On set, do you know Aye. what I mean? But That's I, definitely a guy's thing, but I, I think it is, mate. I think it is. I there's time. I mean, there is times where I go in and there's there's a few young people who come into River City and they've came and went, and you try your best to talk to them and mm -hmm. guide them through it without sounding patronising. Because you know, youngins are like these days, like fuck up, nah, like, But there's certain people who come in where I've went, right? Just watch what you're doing there, man. Mm -hmm. The way you talk to folk, don't get too above your station. Aye. But you need to make any mistakes in life as well, don't you, mate? Right, that's it, and I suppose. Mm -hmm. You'll know if you've been in that situation for so long. You'll probably see people come in and you'll be like, ah, pff, they're in for a fucking reality check aye, here. Aye, aye. With the people, way aye. somebody comes across or... Oh, mate, 100%. There's people... <clears throat> like, for me, like, especially in River City, I think I'd be the same getting into another job, even if I get another partner aye. or something else. You know, costume department, makeup department, props department, you name it, every department, you're on it together. Aye. There's no day... I'm no, I'm no better than a guy who's just come in, who's doing a, who's rigging a camera, Aye. who's doing whatever. I'm, we're on the same job. Aye. We want to all get the best possible result for the product. Mm -hmm. know what I mean, so it's like you see some people coming in and they're a bit more starry and they want to <clears throat> get their props lifted and laid from. They want to fucking get shout costume there for this and Aye. that. You go right, just I mean, just behave, man. They or if they're, they're moaning about costumes they get, they need to wear. You're like, shut up. Aye. What I mean, are you moaning when the money's at the bank at the end of the week? Aye, no. exactly. What I mean, so you Every want to keep the money at the like, bank. Fuck I mean, up. aye. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but so you get some folk, man. You're like, oh man, you just don't know you're born. Do you know what I mean? But that's life, mate. In all walks of life, in every job, I'm sure you get that. Hundred percent, man. man. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we spoke about loads of brilliant points in River City. Has there been any low moments for you, or any kind of points where you've? You've you've struggled, or there's maybe just been a lot of pressure in the job, or aye, there was probably 
<sighs> okay, I mean, I've been there since I was 19, so a lot of personal things. Aye. Early years where you go, I wish I didn't do that. Mm-hmm. I wish I'd... Like we just thought about, I mean, I go about youngins, you know what I mean? So, obviously I've made mistakes early years with times. <sighs> My 21st birthday party years ago, man. <laughs> years and years ago. <laughs> <laughs> this this not feel like years ago. I think we all just kind of thought we were some we weren't there. Like, we all went out to Edinburgh and we were fucking steaming and all this and that and ended up in the front page of the news of the world. Remember the news of the world? Oh my God. News of the world. Scandal. Aye, mate. Ended up in the front page of the news of the world that saying that I'd slept with like two or three lap dancers and all that. And it was, mate, it was all bullshit. Aye. But we put ourselves in that position. Reality check, Aye, it? it was, mate. And I remember looking back thinking there was times probably my early 20s maybe early river city get to my head a wee bit when right. i thought i was something i wasn't right but i learned the hard way that was a scare mm-hmm. man ever since that happened i was like wow man that's mental and i proper fucking shit myself when that happened right. and i remember going and talking to my boss at the time sandra mckiver and i just apologized and pff, i had to say because me and my missus have been together 20 nearly 21 right. years so we were together then and right. all that and it was like I had to speak to her and there was, oh, there was low points like that, mate, where, oh, mate, it was times when I was younger, man, I'd, I'd go on a Friday and <clears> then <throat> again to a Monday, you know what I mean? Like, like I said earlier on, I was earning a decent wage, I didn't mm-hmm. fucking have any responsibilities, all Aye. I had was a motor, Aye. and you're gone, you're ready to go to the wee bit, and that's how, when I see a lot of younger people coming in, I like to, like I said, no sound pattern, I just go, look, youngins these days are not the way we were when we were no. younger, I don't think, you know no. what I mean, but, there's a lot more, maybe I did pressure there to be, to be fair, mm-hmm. social media and all that as well. I mean, that's got a big part to play Aye. in it, but it's so easy just to go that way, mate. Do you know what I mean? You can just fuck everything, Aye. man. And that's, I nearly did. Aye. I nearly did. And that was, that was a big learning curve, man. And it was a dark point, man. There were a couple of wee moments like that early years where I wish I didn't do certain Aye. things where I go. Aye. But like I say, it's all about learning and it's Aye. how you come back for that, I believe. Like you've got to go there to come back. And did um, you have folk at that point that kind of gave you that kind of honest, like, oh, you're, you're going to fuck this if mate, you keep going? 100%. Like, like <clears> I said, me and my mates and my missus, my missus, her pal's my mate's wife. Right. We've all grew up together. Right. So there's this wee group, right? And then there's this wee fanny in the group at the Aye. time. And that was me, Aye. where I'm going. Aye. My missus having to talk to my best pal, my best pal's talking to me. Right. My other mates, we all met to go on night out for my 21st that night with my pals. And I just fucked them off and I went out with the boys for other city and we all went and, right. up, and that came back and bit me in arse. And things like that, my mates are going, you need to get a grip, you know what I mean? Right. And my wife, gone, who was my girlfriend at the time, going, you need to, this isn't working. Right. And I'm like, no, I'm really, really, so, like, you'd be a fucking there, mate. And I mean, it's like, but it is so easy to let that side right. of things get to you, do you know right. what I mean? But like I say, Again, looking back on every way of life, whereas a wee guy working on rat catcher, invaluable experience I'm picking up. Mm-hmm. A wee guy in River City going a night out, I think he's a Billy Big Boys getting butt in the ass. Aye. Invaluable experience there as well, picking Aye. up. Do you know what I mean? So I've went that way Aye. to go there. My boss could have went, no, get the fuck with him. I mean, and that would have been a bad, you know what I mean? But I didn't, and I learned for it. And you just you learn from mistakes, mate. Mate, mm-hmm. I had a crumbled when that fear looked oh, in the paper. Oh, mate, it was horrible, man. But I looked at the paper, I'd have been like, fucking get me out of here. It was horrible, mate. It was horrible, man. It was a, it was a dark, dark time, man. It was, wasn't it good, man? But like I say, man, you need to. It was a, it was a really, it was a bit of us. Aye, and it, do you know mm-hmm. what? It's not a, it's not a bad thing because mm-hmm. always people that message your page now all the time, they're like, oh, that job looks dead easy, and you're like, well, it's not as easy Aye. as that because. Nobody's got a story that's fucking all singing all dancing start to nah. finish. It's just no realistic. And mate, you, it's, it's, in Glasgow, you know what it's like, man? Like, I'm not saying I was fucking, there was a point at that point when I was 21, River City was like becoming really to the forefront of people's fucking Aye. attention. And you're Aye. going, you meet so many people Aye. where you go, look back, I cringe going, why did I let that guy in? Why did, I, why did I become pals with him? Aye. Why did I listen to him? Why did I listen to him? You go, what a dafty man. Whereas now I'm sitting here 38 year old, I'd, like, pff, I'd, see, the, I'd see it coming off my old in the you know what I mean? Aye. <clears throat> Do you find it hard to trust folk in that situation? Like when you were at, at the kind of... At that time I did, mate, I was too trusting. Aye. But now, me, I don't I don't need any other pals. I've, got, I've got my pals, I've got my wife, I've got my veins. I don't really, I don't go anywhere. I don't Aye. really... I did go out, I go out with my pals, we go to the wee pub and have a 
couple of beers if you go in the town it's a day session you're up the road with a kebab and that, but I don't nah I don't you don't let people in there I'm still Aye. get a lot of different acquaintances in different ways mm -hmm. but it's like you don't really I don't need any close pals or Aye. I've got them I've mm -hmm. got my pals and I've got my family and I mean Aye. plenty definitely Aye. mate so having a hectic working schedule where River City's bad enough but then you've got Panto Oh, mate, as man, well that's, that's mental, which man. is like the two fucking uh, busiest things you could probably find nuts, mate. how and did you get involved in it oh mate that is a story in itself man <clears throat> i was sitting me i was sitting in my mom's living room right excuse me <clears throat> that's a true story man right <clears throat> sitting in my mom's living room i think i must have been 20 eating a bowl of cocoa pops right <laughs> rough for the night before right watching a telly the whose phone goes, mate, that's how old, wasn't even mobile, <laughs> whose phone goes, answers it, <clears throat> John Murta, John, eh, uh, Stephen, how you doing? So, all right, John, so, uh, I suppose you've heard about the crankies, and I was like, ah, no, I haven't got an idea what you're talking Jeanette fell off a beanstalk, so she and I'm going, what? And I thought it was a joke, I didn't realise the extent of what had really happened, right. she, fell, she, fell, she, fell, she fell off a beanstalk, did you want to do the panel? And I was like, ah, John, what the fuck are you talking about? I'll do it, I went, it was, he's like, ah, the day, you need to come in rehearsal today, and I'm like, holy shit, man, I was like, all right, aye, aye, I'll come in, no, I didn't realise what had happened, and turned dug a wee bit after that, aye. did a bit of digging, heard she, the thing had collapsed, aye. and she cracked her scarf, or whatever, aye. right, uh, so I goes in, a wee guy, 20 year old, never done panel, well, done panel my theatre group, aye. never, to this extent, oh man, what a buzz, what a buzz, mate, right, I remember doing it, me, Ryan Fletcher, John Murta, we went in, rehearsed that day, mm -hmm. opened the next day. Doing the stare at the bar, in the circle bar, mm -hmm. and the, uh, the stalls bar, rehearsing. Right. Fucking Jack and the Beanstalk, right. man. Oh my God, man. You know, the audience, man, the audience at Pavilion, what, mate? Felt like a rock and roll star, right. mate. Honestly, you go out, man. It's like the end you said, they were just, it was like putting your hand, mate. They were just, <laughs> and I didn't have a clue what I was doing. <laughs> I did not have a clue, mate. And for then on in, mate, I've just done it every year now, Merrillis, at the Pavilion. Enjoy then. it, though. I mate, I do enjoy it. The older I'm getting, it's harder being away from my wife, uh, my wife from my wains, because you don't really see a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Just there, my wife and wains went to Lapland. I mean, uh, I couldn't uh, go, man, because uh, I was going to uh, so it was like, things like that, mate, it's like, I but I do enjoy it, because I enjoy it a wee bit more now as well, because I've got wains, because they come and see me, uh, so they love it, man, they love coming to see me, and before COVID kicked in, they were coming with their school and all that. So aye. my wee lass would come and go, that's my daddy and all that, all that aye, kind of shit. And that. So I mate, a day, you can't, you can't day panel if you don't enjoy it. Because it's such a repetitive aye, so thing. so interactive, aye, isn't it? And you're there, you need to enjoy it, man. Aye. So, aye, so I've done it since 2003, I think it was. It's a fair run at it for panel aye, aye, it? aye, it was long. Aye, so not done it every year aye <clears throat> I've done it nearly nearly every year I had to take a year off because I was no well mm -hmm. I was in a hospital then I had to take a year off because River City was filling up to December but I would say for like 2003 2004 to the new I've done like maybe 16 panels or something and do you like that intensity of we've got to get this done we've got to get it done by this time and you're just going to fire out shows <clears throat> aye it's all I've ever really known mate it's like see like 2020 during that lockdown man mm -hmm. see like nodding in and just stopping man i was like Aye. wow man like fuck should i hear a wee bit Aye. of things i'm usually on the go all the time mm -hmm. but i i enjoy it mate i enjoy the intensity and always i love that feeling like kind of halfway through rehearsals going we're never near ready Aye. this is never gonna Aye. happen but it does i love how we all just come together mate it's it's, it's a great experience it's good for the kids as well because it, it is that kind of that's my dad up there. Aye, that whole kind of. See, the first time my wee lassie came to school, and then my boy goes to school now, he's not a doctor coming to see me because of COVID. He came to see me, but just not the school, but uh, that luxury sound as if it's fucking amazing coming to see me. I didn't, I didn't mean that. I meant getting a trip to school. school. but it was brilliant. Aye, getting that luxury of getting time out of school, you know what I mean? Not like coming to see his dad, you know what I mean? Uh, no, but he's not had it yet, but aye, they, they get a pure buzz out of it, man. Aye. aye. And do they, have they seen you in River City? Aye, aye, and. Even during lockdown, when they were showing the old episodes, what I buzz it was showing my boy and Lassie, me and Charles about the trackies on there. What were they saying? Oh, they were like, ah, it's not you, Danny, what are you wearing? <laughs> Pure bolt outside of Fiverr, Charles, they're about the trackies, that one. They were loving it, man. <laughs> I think I was loving it, Mel and them. Oh, that's tremendous. Um, 
probably worth asking you based on everybody that you work with obviously just now, but mm -hmm. it might be different from before you started. Who was your own inspirations? Oh, De Niro, mate. Aye. De Niro. I was, pff, mate, I was a geek when I was younger, Aye. man. Like, like, I was a bit of a neddy geek. I mean, I'd always like, secretly sworn after like Avalanche Records and I was eating by like, Doors albums and Pink Floyd albums and all that. Uh, but De Niro, man, every single, every night without fail for like when I was about probably like 15 onwards, 14, just sit and watch De Niro. It was good fellas. Casino, Bronx Tale, Godfather Aye. Part 2, all that kind of genre, mm -hmm. like gangster things, but it was mostly De Niro Aye. all the time. I obsessed with him, man. Love him. Still do. Still do. I was got to say, it's not a bad obsession. <laughs> no, man. No, it was just, it was why guy. I remember the first time I ever seen Goodfellas, I was like, wow, man. Classic. That's just, I. Classic. I love a Bronx deal. And it's oh, so Bronx underrated, oh, man. It's class, mate. It's class. And the story to that as well, I mean, that was a play. That was, Cha that was his play, Charles Palminteri's play and all that. And so many people tried to buy it off him. Aye. And then the only person who'd let it take it was De Niro if he directed it and all that. Aye. So it's, it's class, mate. It's Mental. Class. Aye. Any actors you'd love to work with? Eh. Uh, well, De Niro, obviously, mm -hmm. but uh, realistically, I like Fantasyland. He, he's both. Uh, <clears throat> the new Stephen Graham. I'd love to Aye, him, man. Class. Uh, Stephen Graham's class. Uh, Joe Gilgan. Do you know Joe Gilgan? No. He's in Brassic and This Is England and all that. Ah, he's right, class. okay. He's class. Uh, James Gandolfini, but there's no chance of that now, man. Aye. He was probably. Aye, he was. Still the best thing I've ever watched on the telly. Mate, there's nothing better than it. Nothing better. No. It's the best. I was listening to. James Price on this. When you ah, time. Aye, with the... Mate, I, mate, I listened to that the other day because I know you. I've spoke to James a few times. Aye. And mate, I messaged him today. <laughs> I was like, we need to get this Glasgow Soprano thing after run, man. Let's get a beer <laughs> or a coffee together and sit and just develop the shit out of this, man. Unreal, Honestly, man. like, mate, it is untapped. And aye. I can understand reasons why maybe it's not been tapped, but it's like, oh, mate, like, Sopranos is like, that totally changed my life, man. Mate, I've watched that. I've probably, it's probably double figures amount of things Aye. I've watched that right through. But you find something new every time. Oh, mate, and talking Sopranos and all, like, Aye. can't believe he done that. James I done know. that fucking... Oh, for a message on Instagram. I know, I know. Mental, man, mental. Absolutely but. bonkers, mate. <clears throat> um, when I put the message out, when I put the preview out and I tagged Michael Imperio in it, mm -hmm. and he sent us a wee thumbs up emoji, I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> fucking... <laughs> man, get a pitch, uh, get out here, man, we'll get it exactly, done. Exactly, I know, man, I know. Um... So the, the the man that I get so many questions about when I said you were coming on, I bet I can. I know who it is. Yeah, it's great one. Take a guess. Take a guess. Um, you did a football daft podcast with him and and young Toll. You did a panto with mm -hmm. Grado as well. Can I get him out of my life, man? Honestly, aye. The 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 burning question that everybody seems to ask is, is he as mental as he looks? Aye, he's wild. <laughs> he's he's a guy like no other. He is. He's like. The first time I ever worked with him, uh, he came into River City, he played Buster the Wrestler, right, <laughs> he came into River City, and I was like, who's this guy? <laughs> I'll be honest, I was like, I can't take this guy, man, I can't deal with him, man. <laughs> right, so then I seen, right, like, right, the board's on, mm -hmm. board's been clapped, ready to fucking shout action, stand there, me and him, and he goes, what did you have your dinner last night? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I look the book going, is this a fucking winger? Who is this guy? Know what I mean? But <clears throat> for some reason we clicked, right? We clicked. Uh, and to answer the question, I he is and mayor, right? He's the kind, he's the type of guy, at that point when he came out of the city, I thought, ah, this guy's dead, man. man. <laughs> oh, he won't shut up. He's so random, man. Constantly talking about like, volivants and fucking macaroni and cheese and all that. I'm like, I said, if I did, I see it on, he just thought about, do you like volivants? And I was like, what are you talking about? But You're trying just, to remember all your eyes. <laughs> mate, we are chalk and cheese, right? Aye. We are, I'm like total fucking OCD. <laughs> Everything's got to be organised. I need to know where the next thing's mm -hmm. coming from. Credo will turn up to Panto and he'll know all his lines until the night before we go on stage and all that, right? He's he's wild, right? But he's fucking brilliant. Aye. He's brilliant. He's a showman. Aye. He's class. And I don't think he gets enough credit as well because I think there's like, he done that thing down in England as well, Endeavour, that's on ITV. Aye. He got a part in that, mate. I swear to God, his <laughs> accent, his performance in that was phenomenal. Aye. And two doors down, I oh, think he's, he's, quite, he's the best thing in it. Outstanding. Him and Johnny, just, they two are just absolute dynamite. But 
So is everybody in it. But I just mean aye, it's, aye. <coughs> but yeah. him, Jory and Irene for me, the three of them like but Gredo is to go into a show like that, mm-hmm. which is already established, it's already got the same kind of core cast. Aye. And for him to just go into that and be Alm, um, mm-hmm. and Alm, um, he calls himself best. Aye. Mate, he's he's one of my best pals. Like aye. we just we we do so much together, we've been through so much, like Dane Panto together when his mom died and all that, mm-hmm. and we were Dane Panto and then we always laugh about it because we've got our own routine. Like, we, he'll still to this day calls me Bob. He's never called right. me Stephen in his life. Like, <laughs> it's always Bob, 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 right? And we do the podcast together, obviously. But, like, when his mom died, it was ugh, seeing him like that, man. Like, Aye. we are the type of, right? Me and him, I've got this thing where <laughs> if somebody, probably hang with a pair of sick bastards, right? <laughs> if somebody tells us somebody's dead or right. somebody's died, me and him laugh when nerves. It's so bad. Aye, right? just we, we don't know what to do, right? Because we look at each other. So when he told me his mod, his mod died, right? right? He's like, he, he was greeting and he was upset. He's like, if you want to laugh, it's all right. Just laugh. And I'm like, fuck up, right? Imagine somebody like, looking at him. I know. I know. <laughs> so he, 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 had to, he took a couple of days off, apparently. And he went away, obviously, to deal with what mm-hmm. he had to deal with. And fucking fair play. And man, he came back. But I remember when he said he was coming back and we laugh about it and cringe about it to this day. He said, I said, I'm going to pray at the wee cafe in the corner. Mm-hmm. He said, I'll meet you so I came out to pray. And it was like a pure mob, Sucky Hall Street. And I seen them coming in, they seen each other for about four days. And we pure ran each other like a pair of EJCs. <laughs> pure cuddling each other in the middle of the Sucky. It was like the end of a romantic movie, man, honestly. <laughs> like pure broke back mountain Sucky Hall style, man. <laughs> Dude, he's pure cuddling each other on the street, man. He's pure lifting me up there. <laughs> My legs are dangling. I was like, I've missed you, mate. <laughs> but we're well, like, honestly, man, we're like, we. We work so well together. There's that little enlarging. He's fucking absolute on the spectrum. I'm total feet in the ground. You need to work well bit for aye, Panto because you're just aye, with each aye, other all the time. Are, aye. We fell out with each other. We argue. Aye. We, we kiss and make up. Aye. Everything, man. But he's like, he's one of my best pals. Man. He's just, he's, and he's such a talented boy, you know? He's so definitely. talented. He is. Underrated. Uh, he is, definitely. Massively. Mate. 100%. How do you find the podcast stuff? You've been brilliant. doing that for a while now, haven't you? Aye, brilliant, mate. We enjoy it. We have fun. Again, we've had disagreements before, before <laughs> in. Uh, aye, it's great, mate. It's it's something I never... Podcast such a big deal now, you know, aye. myself, mate. It's such a competitive business. And it's like, I've never... Before I'd done Football Taft, I was never really... Aye. I never into podcasts. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anything about it. Grado says, do you fancy taking there for you? And initially, I was like, don't know, man. Not mm-hmm. sure. Then I said, can I date two Rangers fans? Right, we need to get a third wheel in. Used to be a Celtic fan. Go be tall in. And mate, it's just, I, it's, we start back this week. And mate, it's just good fun. Aye. Just sitting top of football and arguing with all. Aye. And especially since I took care of Rangers have done no bad. So I've kind of, <laughs> I, I have enjoyed it, man. But it's, it's great. I mean, obviously you get a guest on, you know yourself, mate. There's, it, it's sink or swim at times isn't it? you get a guest on you, you just pray they're going to be all right and quite open and talkative because that makes it so Aye. sometimes you've had the odd guest on with it oh man texting each other going that's just not working man because we had to date through zoom during lockdown Aye. so like that's just not working man what, is, what are we going to talk about now and all that and they don't just sort of ah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's like what, what was it we were laughing about i can't remember who it was we had on but he'll like it was a, we always say it's a pure Charlie and a close moment, man. At the par, when the, now you get that wee hiatus, a silence, he always feels it has to pure fill it. Like, pure, uh, 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 do, do, so, did you always like want to like, be into football or not? Yeah, like, mate, what the fuck? Pure fucking cutting edge questions, man. <laughs> but it's, mate, it is what it is, man. You get a guest on if he's shite or great, it still is. It's a great wee gig today, Aye. man. I enjoy doing it and. I'm obsessed with podcasts a wee bit now, man. Aye. Like, you know, I sit them all the time, that means. Who's been your kind of favourite guest that you've had on? <clears throat> Mate, unbelievable. I was doing Centre Parks last week and I bumped into him. No, I believe it, so random. Mark Reynolds, who plays for Dundee United. Mate, he was, his part, I was brilliant. Aye. And I never thought he would be. No offence to you, Mark, if you're listening, right? <laughs> I just thought, I didn't think he'd be as funny as he was. Aye. I didn't think he'd have as good stories. It was why they obscure, just pluck a name out and try and get him on. Aye. And he was class, man. He was brilliant. He was great. <laughs> With Barry Feastenders on, he was brilliant. Oh, that's random. Aye, <laughs> Sean Williamson, we thought, what was it, what was it we did it for? <laughs> Bizarre is that? What, what did we date it for? It was because Tall one day was singing that song, Something Inside So Strong. Well, he done it at the balls, and Barry didn't he? done it, aye. So <laughs> I thought, why don't, I think it was Tall's birthday, why don't we get Tall, eh? Uh, 
Barry wanted to do a duet with all. And we were going to just do like the wee cameo thing for him. Right. I thought, fuck it, let's get him on as a guest. And we got him on, mate, and <laughs> he was fucking brilliant, honestly. He just, he took to it, he rolled with it, he went with it, and it was, he was amazing. But we've had some, Andy Gray was brilliant and all. Andy mm, Gray was staying nice. in Dubai now, man, doing that being sports, he was good. Negri, Negri was brilliant. Yeah, that's plan you probably wouldn't you think because he was always kind of moody, wasn't he? Bonkers, mate. Bonkers, mate. That's mate, look him up on Twitter, but he's like on Twitter, he's fucking mental. Ah, I follow he's him, he's bonkers. crazy. Uh, Jackie McNamara was brilliant and all. He was really good as well. Uh, McAvenny, mate, they're all, do you know what, man? Nine times out of ten, they're all good. You get the odd one, it comes on and you go, oh, he's a bit dull, man. I'm not going to name them, but... <laughs> But you can tell right away. Aye, aye, aye. It's just a kind of aye. right. It's like regimented. Just get through this. Ask the basics. Get aye. through it. But you get like Barry Fiestenders who goes off on a tangent, and you get oh Jamie Langfield man who are sitting talking to Jamie Langfield, and then he goes off on a tangent about going a night out at Fat Sam's and Dundee with Fabrizio Ravanelli and all that shit. And I mean, mate, it's like you can't buy that shit. So no. it's, oh, it's brilliant. That's a good week. I love that. Love that. Um, Obviously, you, you've done a load of different things. You, you, you've you been a mainstay in River City for the, the get-go. Any advice you would give to people that are maybe kind of going to college or they're maybe sitting going, I maybe want to do this as a career, based on what you've kind of been through and what you've seen? Don't miss the first two weeks of the course, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to my or your pals. <laughs> the, only advice, mate, the only advice I'd give them, man, is... Just like it sounds morbid and dull, man. But just be prepared for rejection, man. Just mm-hmm. like, but don't let it get you. Don't knock. Don't don't let it knock you. You need Aye. to. If somebody says you're not right for a part, it doesn't mean the person that's got the parts a better act on you. It's just Aye. the way they envisage it, the way Aye. they see the person. So like, being getting rejected. I think, I think youth of today mm-hmm. are more resilient that way. I think they're quite clued Aye. up. See what I was talking about earlier. We touched on social media and all that. Mm-hmm. I think they're mere guarded and they know they're quite strong minded where mm-hmm. they, I think they're a bit more fucking too fit right into it. Do you know what I mean? So just to be able to handle the rejection and just honestly, man, like if you get rejected, don't think that's you done, man. There's, a, there's so many opportunities out there in the world that we're in, the business I'm in, there's so much, especially in Scotland now, there's so much happening. There's a lot of big like movies getting made here. <sighs> they bring their own people wearing right enough, Aye. but there's a lot Aye. of chances out there. Do you know what I mean? There Love that. Mm-hmm. Love it. Same question I ask everybody that comes on. Obviously, the, the point of this is to speak to people in Glasgow that are doing well for themselves, be it in a career, a business, whatever they're doing. Mm-hmm. Is there MDU you know that you think would have a good story or a good background to to talk about? Oh, mate, do you know, I was thinking about this, man. I was thinking about it. There, do you know who I think is an unsung hero who does not, he's not even for Glasgow, right? Right. But he works in Glasgow. He produces the breakfast show in the morning and right. Clyde One. Mm-hmm. He's a behind the scenes man. Right. John McInerney. Right. He produces your podcast as well. Mate, I would get him on. Because right. I think he's got a good story. We try to talk to him behind he's always like, ah but he's mate, he's done so much on it, man. Honestly, right. like he does works with Bowie, he works with us, he's 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 a very clever guy and he's worked on like your eight member XFM Aye. and Cap. Aye. He's worked on them all, man. And I think he's a wee bit of an unsung hero. Aye. There you go, man. John McInerney. I'm going to hunt him down. <laughs> get him on. I'll, I'll see him next week. I'll tell him to come on, man. Honestly, be a good story. He's get. He's a clever guy. And he's. Aye. He's. He's a talented guy too. Aye. Definitely. I guarantee you, I get a message for Tolly after this. <laughs> I'll come in next week. <laughs> Not a problem. Hundred <laughs> percent. Right. Listener questions. Oh, for fuck's sake, man! Here we go. Um, the first one. <laughs> Ask him who his favourite band is. Is it St. Phoenix? Yes, or I think, yes, it is St. Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> so you can fucking guess who that's came from. <laughs> is it for Stevie? Or is it's, it for Al? It's for Al. Is it for Al? Mate, honestly, right, this, <laughs> this is never the lie. My wee boy will not stop singing Happy Place, right? He Definitely sings real. it. He sings it every single day. And we had them on our podcast as mm-hmm. well, but I, I missed it that day. I wasn't there that day. And obviously, I know the story it goes, Aye. you know. And it's, oh, man, they're, they're only something, man. They are, they are, and they're really top guys. I don't know, man. They really come across as just genuine boys, man. Aye. And the world's an oyster, isn't it? Aye, it was... Um, part one and part two on this, mate, didn't Mate, it was fucking... Aye. It Epic. was an education, man. Aye. So you sit and listen to their story and you're Aye. like, it's a Netflix. Aye, it is, mate. It is. They're, 
talented boys, man, in their soul. Aye. Down to earth as well, man. They'll definitely. be massive. Aye, they will 100% be, Hundred percent, they'll be massive. So yes, it is St. Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Al. <laughs> um, to, funny enough, you just actually spoke about this with Grado. Do you get annoyed when people call you Bob? No. No. Do you get folk in the street there? Oh, aye. Mate, aye. I forget my name's Stephen. <laughs> Honestly, mate, I've, I've been answering to Bob since I was like 19. I'm going like that, and people shout Bob, and they're talking to a Bob across the street. I'm like, what? No, I mean, I, I forget my name's Stephen sometimes. <laughs> Need to recall me Stephen, so my mates call me Purdy. Aye. It's either Purdy or Bob, so I think the only person that calls me Stephen is my wife. That's it, man. I don't really, if MD calls me Bob, I don't No, because I actually take it as a bit of a compliment. Aye. It makes you go, right, it's like, if I seen Adam Woody it plays Ian Bewer, I'll Ian. Which is the same with Barry, isn't it? Exactly. Exactly. You know, miss? That's it. His name's Sean. Like, oh, you're right, Barry. You're right, mate. <laughs> oh, fuck. See, I just get visions of Janine throwing him off a mountain, man. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> boof, there you go. Um, starstruck moments that you've had? Starstruck moments. Stephen Gerrard. Met Stephen Gerrard at an awards tour. That was, like, that was something. Did you buckle her? Um, were you all right? I held it together, mate. Grado fucking, Grado fucked it for his butt, man. <laughs> he fucking, because we were playing, he had to, he was there to present an award to Graeme Souness. Right. At the Double Tree, it was like a, our Heroes Award, Aye. and it was a lifetime achievement for Graeme Souness. So Gerard was just coming in to hone there the award, but we get one that Gerard was coming to do it. Right. Through somebody who will remain nameless. So we're like, <laughs> right, please, can we go and get a photo of him? Please, Aye. me, Jordan Young, and Grado. Like, right, let, I will do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. I, you getting this? Aye, aye, right, probably not, right. Everybody just keep it cool, man. Aye. We had a big game the next day in Europe. Right. So he was only coming in. Aye. Grabbing the ward. Gone. And gone, right. So he comes in. He comes in. He's still on the side of the stage. <laughs> and we came out. <laughs> Jim Trainer was still at the club at the right. time. He's like, no, boys, don't be like, fuck off, Jim, out of the way. Like, 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 get a photo, right? Like, like, here, Jim, you take a photo. <laughs> so, all right, cool, neighbor, all right. So he gets the photo and all that. That should be enough. Aye. Right. Big. He then presents the award. Grado wants to stay and get another photo. I'm like, mate, we've already got a photo, man. But then he comes out and he's like, all right, lads, it's like a big game and one of boys in it to go and all that. Aye. So he's leaving. Grado proceeds to chase him down oh, the fucking gosh. by the bar. But for some reason, I'm going with Grado. I know I'm walking down. <laughs> and Grado's taking another photo. He's on my phone and his phone. I'm like, oh, it's not cool, man, not cool. But that was probably seeing him. It was a bit, wow, man. But also, we played in the Legends game and all. I broke some mate. Walter Smith, mate, Walter Smith was the one. Every time I met Walter, because I'm lucky enough I get invited to the director's box now and again, Aye. right? Because I've been gone again. I know Colin Stewart that works there, he invites us to. There's a wee, like, there's a wee gang that get invited to each mm -hmm. game, like Jordan, me, Grado, Johnny Watson. And a couple of times I've been lucky enough to go is when wattie has been there. Mm -hmm. And every time, I know his wife Ethel. She was, she's River City daft, mate. She just talks about River City all the time, so I used to always use that as bait. Aye. Going, going to you, come on the podcast then, and I'll take Ethel down to River City. Aye. Never, never. We need budge on it, right? We need budge, but obviously when he passed away, that was like the heart, that was like Aye. heartbreak, man. But he was the one, every time I met, I just honestly buckled, man. Like, I actually, like, still shake. That the presence, point where I met him like four or five times. Where you're talking to him, and I remember the first time he, Put his horn on my shoulder and all that, and say that can I get to watch you tell and I choose because you're a wee prick and all that. You know what I mean? Like he's like he's, oh, he's what a guy he was, man. And it was just it was heartbreaking, my hands, man. Oh mate, openly admit a wee tear was shed. Nah, it was, mate. It was. It was um, ah, it was like pinnacle. Your childhood, oh, definitely, man. Mate, do you know who else was star? I was very starstruck when I first met him, Gary Sweeney. Like when he was in River City, played, played Gabriel, or because I used to fucking mate, I could have played it. I used to watch small faces oh. every time and he played slower than small Aye. faces so when he came into river city his name's gary obviously i just kept calling him slow charlie sloan Aye, charlie. put the books in the bag <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? so when i first met gary and i thought i was gonna be working with him i was like no way man it's slow <laughs> takes my mates slow for fucking small faces in river city <laughs> and my mates are like see him put the books in the bag Nora. <laughs> Get him to see it, get him to see it. But a uh, big Gary's he's class, man. Mate, he's another one should go on. Big Gary, he's got great stories, man. Gary, I could I'll say to him, man. He was massive. Like, see when mate, that first came out, that film was fucking Mate, Gary should have went to Hollywood. Aye. He should have, man. He's big hand what a woman love him, a big handsome guy. But oh mate, he is class. Gary's a great fucking actor, man. Pure memories are small faces. Nah, eh? Same man. Go on your mammy shopping, Sloan. <laughs> I'll buy that painting off you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Class. If you could cast one person in River City to join your family, 
mm. taking somebody, if I could get anybody in, in the world MD. to come in. MD. Oh, Stephen Graham. Who would it be, but? What, long be, lost uncle or something? Ah, he, he, man, he's not that much taller than me, man. He could be. Like, he could be. <laughs> Big bra? Ah, he could be. Man. Ah, you know what I mean? I'm fucking like, ah, he could be. Oh, what? Ah, he could meet me, Stephen Graham, and Montego Motors, man, with the, with the boiler suits on, man. Then you've got the link into the Glasgow Sopranos thing. <laughs> exactly, mate, exactly. Aye, it's all coming together, man. Phone James Price, man, tell me to get it direct. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Um, best storyline you've ever had? Uh, oh, man, fuck. God, man, I've been... Storylines, if you've got I've more than one. I've been very lucky, man, I've had all sorts, man. Uh, Lenny Murdoch kidnapped my girlfriend, me and him having a mad square go. <laughs> at the Clyde side, and the two is fell in the Clyde. <laughs> know what I mean? No matter how many times you go to work and jump in the Clyde, mate. Know what I mean? Do you want to tell the tale? Mate, I'm a Tom Cruise the fucking <laughs> River City, mate. Do you want my own stunts? Know what I mean? That's what I see everybody doing there. Aye. The shittiest actor, but the best stuntman, know what I mean? Jumped in, jumped in the Clyde. Uh, that was a good one. Ended up in the Royal after it right enough, no well. Uh, the, the depression, I always remember the depression, man, was quite... I can't meet a storyline. I mean, I got the comedy ones are brilliant as well, but see, like a right one, you can just do his own through, you just get your teeth right. Like, right. When Bob got diagnosed with depression after his mate died, that was heavy duty, man. Right. It was like one of the ones I remember going to the point when I was going, this needs to get tied up, so right. it's going on too much, right. man. But you're going, right. you're constantly just thinking about it and you're greeting all the time. And then, like, my my wife at the time in the show was having an affair behind my back and I had depression and all that. It was just, it was a really... Do you get a lot of feedback for like people that watch it on stuff like Aye, mate, you do. Aye, and that's... Something like that. Depression. You want to do it right. You want to look into it a wee bit. You want to put something on wanky. You want to look into it. You want to do something like that justice. You don't want to just date on a whim. You don't go in and think you know what you're doing. You want to look into things and people's characteristics and the kind of patterns they go through mm. and all that because obviously Bob was trying to hide it for a lot of people right. and all that so there was all that but you ah, you, do, you, you hear from some people especially now man you can get in touch with anybody right. social media do you know what I mean right. send messages and that so ah, it was that was a good one and it was a lot of it was Kira Lucchese at the time and it was her real life man mm. who was directing it David Heyman Jr David Heyman's right. son David Heyman Jr yeah, so we were all kind of, there was a lot of good stuff about it, man. I really enjoyed it, man. Really good storylines. Mm -hmm. Aye. Oh, and my, one of my best ones was pump my best mate's morning. That was brilliant. <laughs> that, was one, that was one of my, my first ever on-screen kiss was Lorraine McIntosh with Deacon Blue. Wow. And that was Deke's Maw at the time, and I slept with Deke's Maw and my first kiss. <laughs> and it was Michael Hines that directed it, who directs all the style games. Aye. So, I remember saying to my mates, eh, Lorraine McIntosh with Deacon Blue, man. I'm getting half a film, but no, 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 that, I was only, that was one of my first big storylines. I was only at 19 or 20 at the time. And she played Deke's Ma, Aye. and me and Deke were best Aye. pals. So Deke's no one when I got in, but she was an alcoholic at the time, Aye. right? Hence why she got half a wee fucking <laughs> daft about me, right? So I remember absolutely shitting myself going, I'm going to get half a film, man. Like I, I've never, I'd never done that before, like on screen. How I mean? was she with you, like the whole... Lovely, brilliant, she was great, man. She's a laugh, she's Aye. such a, she's a diamond Aye. on earth. Genuine, salt of the earth, man, mm -hmm. brilliant. But I think she was just as nervous as me, because I was Aye. on a wee boy at the time, like 19, 20, and you're doing the scene where she's acting on a drunk and all that, and I'm like, right, and then it comes to the point where you need to start winching, <laughs> and it's Michael Hines directing it, and the winch comes at the end of the scene. Right. So you start winching, shout cut, so we started winching. We're still winching. We're still winching. To the point I'm going, that ah, bastard's no shooting cut, man. <laughs> he kept it going for like a full minute. Now imagine 60 seconds, doesn't sound a long time, mate, but stone and kissing Aye. somebody who is a bit of a Scottish icon. Aye. Do you know what I mean? You're going, oh my God. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? But that was a great storyline. It was brilliant. Then he punched me down the stairs and I get put in a coma. There we go, mate. Soap land, man. That's the thing, you must get that script in like that. So I'm going to pump my pals more. Aye, and then I'm going to be in a coma. And the, night, the next week I'm going to be in a coma. With a sailor scarf from my bed. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. Um, oh, God, here's a thinker for you. You're inviting three people around for dinner. Living, living, alive or dead, who are you going with? Wow. Eh... Uh... 
Robert De Niro, mm-hmm. Walter Smith, and Stevie Nicks. Oh, is this a random one at no, the end of? Just because I've seen that album up after. Mm. She, I've always been obsessed with her, Stevie Nicks, man. Don't know why. Wait to see them at the Hydro about three, four years ago, man. She's still like dynamite. Don't know what it is, man. <laughs> don't know what it is, man. I still, I think she's just amazing, man. So, aye, that's my three. I don't disagree. Off mate. the cuff, mate. Right, right. There. That was There's probably people I could have photo other people, but I'm just going with them. De Niro well, for the, the old acting thing. Aye, Walter the Smith because I just swag when I'm blazing talk about nine or row years and go to Manchester and all that. Aye. Then the Stevie Nicks of the seventies I want to try and fire, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Something for everybody, right? <laughs> <laughs> Something for everybody. <laughs> Who was your childhood idol? Eh, McCoist. Aye, McCoist. Aye, I used to. Aye, like. I've never oh, met him. Did it? Doesn't it like? Nah, mate, he's he's a legend. He's he's just such a he's a great though. Can't hold him. Can't hold him. She says to me, he's working like on a podcast a few times, and he just mate, he's impossible to tie down. He's but, everywhere, but ah, he? yes, mate, yes. He he's when I was younger, man. It was just got the games when I was younger. Going right, McCoy was just he was the Royal Rovers, wasn't he? Like, everything about it, man. Even when he went through that wee patch where Mo Johnson was in ahead of him, man. Aye. Going coming off the bench, man, about two stone heavier, coming over, he kicked this whole thing on his hips, stuff like that. My dad was obsessed with him as well, so. Aye, and I've been lucky enough to play in a couple of games with him and meet him a few times, so aye, and it's what they say, you should never meet your heroes, but aye. he's he's everything you want him to be in there. Be shining yourself, your first touch playing with Ollie McCoy's, oh, man. Mate, he's, mate, that legend's game we played in, he came off the bench, scored a hat trick, man. First time I met him, man, first first time I met him, he went, fuck's sake, wee man, you make Wally Henderson look like Peter McCoy. <laughs> 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 and that was it, man, you're off and running, I mean, that's it. How were the nerves playing in that Legends game? Oh, mate, horrendous, man, horrendous. Alex Ray just kept making the worst bang going like, mate, mate, just calm down. Calm down, you're all right. I'm like, stop fucking saying that to me. It's all right for you. That pitch must feel mate, massive when you're on it. Right, mate, I go on, right? They bring me on, right? Me and Jordan are sitting like this on the bench. You all right, mate? Aye, cool, man. You all right? Aye, fine, man. Aye. Uh, Archie Knox goes, right, used to. Go on. Ready to go on, right? Walking on. Even... You know what it's like, Ibox. It goes up a wee bit. Aye. So even standing there, mate, I know I'm tiny, right? But I feel like a fucking borrower, right? Like a hobbit ready to go in here, right? Goes on. I can't remember who it was. I think it might have been Derek Ferguson. Mm-hmm. Gets the ball, passes it to me, right? I've got the ball. I starts running because I'm quite fast, Aye. right? I starts running. But I feel like I'm not going anywhere, mate. Aye. And then all I see is Marvin Andrews running towards me. <laughs> so my first touch, I'm going, what did I do here? Did I try and run past him? No, fuck it. Aye, Booted the yeah, ball. Right. Try to pass it out to somebody on the left doing it for a shy. Then I, the next time I get to the ball, I'm trying to run again. Craig Moore absolutely empties me. Like, I've got a photo in my man cave in my house. He empties me. And Michael Moles is in our team. And then the back of the photo, you just see Michael Moles on and pushing himself laughing at me, man. I'm flying through the air, man, honestly. <laughs> oh, mate, the nerves were unreal, honestly. Anybody, me and Jordan came off the bench and I, I was sitting there. And it was like eight, no, when came off the pitch, it was like 80 minutes. Mm-hmm. And Archie Knox, Michael Moles, and I'm a Russo are going, What are you doing? Don't, don't just sit down and go keep, you, 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 you'll stiffen up, not Aye. Right? Aye. Right, 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 you'll you, you be getting back on. So I'm running up and down the side, right? I'm like, right, okay, goes to sit down. I'm like, No, go on, fucking keep, you're going to be in back on. We'll have about six minutes and just then you're going back on. Like, right. So I'm running past, and I talked to Bob Malcolm and Barry Ferguson quite a lot. They're going, what are you doing? They're on the other bench. Aye. What are you doing? I'm like, Archie said they send me back on. He's like, I don't sit down because you're stiffing up. The, every, the, everybody in the bench, Walter Smith, and that, pissed themselves <laughs> laughing. Because obviously he's fucking winding me up. But I'm like, yes, Archie, no Archie. Yes, 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 yes. Terrified. Ah, exactly, man. But nah, mate, it was like, it was like all the <clears throat> old Rangers DVDs used to watch these Aye. guys. It's like having a part in one of them. It's like you're standing there in the dressing room with them all and all that. And it's like, oh, it's, mate, you it's an experience that will never, ever leave me, man. That's honestly. the peak, isn't it? Aye, That's definitely. the absolute pinnacle. Definitely. Um, bizarrely, would you ever leave River City for EastEnders? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> mate, two people asked that. Aye, I'd need, I'd need to talk to my agent. Man, I need to see how much money they're offering, man. <laughs> It'd be like phoning my uncle when I left Cruise, man, saying, Keep this job good for us because I go down to Albert Square. They'll realise I'm shite. I need to phone Martin, my boss at River City, go crack him back home, man. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. <laughs> and somebody asked, What day does your bins go out? <laughs> Monday's the day. It's morning, man. It's morning. 
Mate, I'm honestly, air, man. I'm a bit of an OCD freak with the bins, man. I need to make sure it's so, off. Um, well, mine's good on a Monday and I take them out on a Sunday morning. Aye, mate. I'm, mine's just sitting in my garden ready to go. Aye. Definitely, aye, definitely. I get pelters every week now, my heart. Fucking bin gets done every week. Aye, of course, the man. The neighbours follow suit here. Aye, exactly, man. Go aye. to set a trend. Aye, exactly. Um, what's next for you? Obviously, you're still River City the new, but what's, what's the next few years look like well, for you? Well, mate, there's... There's... A couple of things I've got... Um, Doing a bit of writing now, mm-hmm. writing a sitcom now, so I'm just about to write the second draft of that. So, <clears throat> I've been working on that for a couple of years now. So the idea if I'd have never wrote any of my life, mm-hmm. also had a wee urge to try and do it. Aye. So I wrote the first draft of this sitcom that I wanted to get half a grand, mm-hmm. sent it to a boy who I trust and I Aye. know who is quite high up, we can go through things, gives a few wee pointers. So I'm going to, this week actually, for noon to start back and we'll get the second draft done. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's something I want to get off the ground. And I don't know, mate, I want to kind of... I've still got a wee itch. Aye. A wee urge, man, that the older I'm getting, I want to do other things. So I actually spoke to a few people today about a couple of wee things that I want to... I don't know, mate, there's still something that I feel like I want to do. Aye. I don't quite know what I want to do other things. I don't want to just... Obviously, I'm always going to be fucking shell-suit with Aye. people. Aye. So they know that mm-hmm. they associate me with River City, but Aye. I want to show people that I can do other things as mm-hmm. well. So there's another couple of wee things I'm going to try and do, but you just don't know in this business, Aye. mate. You need somebody to give you that chance. You need a door to open. Mm-hmm. You need to, but I'm never, I'm not the type that just sits there all the time, mate. Aye. I always want to do something, man. I always try to. So the script, my sitcom that I want to get off the ground, I want to really go with that. I want to try and get that. It's a what is it they call it, man, a passion project, aye, like, aye, all that kind of stuff, aye. it's something I've always, I've always had the idea, and I've just finally, during lockdown last year, I put, finally had the boss to open the laptop, mm-hmm. and just start doing it, man, that was terrifying, but I really enjoyed doing aye. it, so, but I fell away for a bit now, mm-hmm. that I'm going, right, I don't start back filming until the 7th of February, so for now until then, I'm going to use the time productively, aye. and get that done, man, and just get it on somebody's desk, and see how it goes. Love it. And then we'll get the Sopranos with Pricey as well. That'll be happening, mate. As soon as Pricey messages me back, mate. <laughs> see if he's met. Hold on. I where, is it? where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Nah, he's probably hanging about with fucking Mike Pompidio. Mate, he's hanging about with three days. Uh, nah, he's, he's, he's too big time now, nah. mate. Hanging about with Christopher Multisanti, <laughs> man. You know what I mean? We'll see. Oh, mate, this has been brilliant. No, Honestly, thanks for brilliant, mate. I'm sorry it took so long, mate. Sorry it took so long, but I'll come back on again at some point. Are you put the tall little jaggy in next week? <sighs> mate, can I get him in, man? No, I mean, <laughs> man. Hey, you leave him to you can't get any guess on in your phone, him, mate. No, I mean, <laughs> I'll phone Gredo first, then. <laughs> Gredo, then the producer, <laughs> then, then so Some man, mate, thank you. <laughs> Cheers, bud. Cheers, mate. <laughs>